everybody, it's Friday the 31st of May, uh, this is Bon, this is 832 Tarot, uh, welcome if you have been here before and welcome if you've never been here before. The way I read, read Tarot is I read for the heart space, the head space and the middle way, how you will be perceived and how you will be perceiving others. I will give a, um, a clarification on any cards that need clarification and then I'll give some advice at the end. I try to keep my readings under half an hour. If you like what you see, please like, share and subscribe. And if you really like it, join the membership over on the Kofi page. So let's just crack on. Uh, the week for the 31st of May. I'm using Ashley Cook's Bluestone and Archives of Nature. I'm using Self Love Tarot. Our tarot, radiant rise away, and cat black golden tarot. Golden tarot, even. Okay. Beautiful cards in the heart space. Oh. Although, oh, no, I don't know, clarify. A surrendering. There is a surrendering in the heart space. Something beautiful, though. Okay, that one is there, sorry. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay. Mm, I don't want you for that. I don't want you for that. She's our cold nature. Right, sorry, excuse me, chatting to myself, talking to my cards. But anyway. <laughs> so, in the headspace then. Oh, actually, do you know what? A couple of, as I was driving home from Edinburgh tonight, a couple of owls flew in front of me. Um, and then a black cat crossed in front of me before I got home. That's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> the uh, four of cups is in the headspace. So... That explains why that's there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to use either of those decks. That's annoying. Oh, he wants it then. He wants it. Well, oh, well, that's it. All of Ashley's are wanting to work together tonight. So this is the original Ashley Cook tarot. <clears throat> Beautiful, aren't they? I'm getting from Etsy. The only Scottish tarot card maker, as far as I know. As far as I know, anyway. <clears throat> there may be more. Okay. Right, I want to know about the four cups, please, in the heart space. Let's start in reverse. The four of swords, wasn't it? Ace of Pentacles and four of cups. Okay. 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 Some sort of depression here.
to, yeah, nine cups, sorry. Okay. Five of ones, okay. Yeah. Five of swords and the judgment thing, please. Okay. This uh, speaks of surrender and acceptance. <clears throat> yes, beautiful. Magician at the bottom of that deck. This is nice. Okay. So there is very much a there's very much a want here for a new beginning, um, and it's new beginning from a way that the way the way that you are responding to life at this time, you want to respond differently to things that you have held you back to or a position that you've been in that's held you back, some sort of apathy or depression in some way some part of self that's been shut off okay is is needing needing loved and held and this could be for some of you in a relationship as well there could be issues with facing something There's going to be a challenge for either you as a couple or for one member of the couple or, um, or if you're a, a single a Pringle and this is all about what's going on in you. <clears throat> and there's a surrender in here to to a better life, to a better to a better way of, of, of greeting life, of responding <clears throat> to life. But I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. That this the the surrendering the surrendering that comes from this situation, um, it's going to build it's going to build either the relationship or you up as an individual um, to be in that much better position to be back in that balanced place of confidence. And there's and there is a this, there is a this is being manifested in this this lesson the way that this sits is being manifested in. <clears throat> to, there's there's got to be a little bit of heartbreak, for some reason there needs to be. Something, to shift the trajectory, something to shift the energy. There needs to be some surrendering. And acceptance, I feel. <clears throat> I mean, it's challenge. It's challenging. It's challenging to know to do the right thing. However, we've got the high priestess. We've got the sun. We've got the two of cups. There's unity here. <clears throat> There's a want for new beginnings here with the fool here. There's a an awareness of of this shift within you being like um, through a higher place, guided, almost channeled. Like you know, there's a there's a protectiveness here um, around you taking this plunge. I feel. <clears throat> I mean, and and the plunge that I'm talking about isn't like it's it's in yourself. It, whether this is about um, a relationship or whether it's about just a relationship with yourself, this this 
this knowing, this deeper knowing, this this understanding, this trust, trust of the universe, feeling that vibe and that energy, I think is very important. I'm going to just do the High Priestess because there's a lot of power there with that Price Priestess and the Sun. Nine of Wands. So. Oh, okay, everybody wants to come out. Okay. Okay, yeah, and that's, you know. Okay, yeah, so there's some, there's, there's some healing going on here. Ten of Swords, yeah, it's the end of something. The end, <clears throat> and I, I really think it's the end of some, uh, some third, if, if it's in a relationship, it's some third party within a relationship, and I don't, I'm not talking about another person. I'm talking about addiction or um, um, career, children, something, something that has been gobbling up the love, basically, straining the situation. And I feel that there's some I, I, inner clarity. I feel inner clarity from this. There's victory and there's working on self there. So, that five of swords, that challenge is being a better... There's some there's something here about it's not necessarily about being the bigger person, right? It's about it's about doing the right thing by yourself. Sorry, my eyes wish you now. It's about doing the right thing by yourself. And in doing the right thing by yourself, you do right by others because you're being authentic, you're being true, you know. And I think that's really what shines that light on that. And I think that's what, you know, I love me, you love you. So we can, we can, you know, we have the space to lo love being with each other. It's never about like someone holding someone else. You go through things with people, but like everybody's journey is their own journey. And this is kind of like a realisation of that in a way. There's like something that something or some situation or some relationship that's been, you know, you feel it's really like blocking your authenticity, dulling you in some way, worn out by it, you know, you're bored of it, you don't, you're bored of this pattern, you don't want it anymore, you know, you want to come back into balance. I mean... But I, but I, I see that through. I see through this. Um, through this, through this, trusting what you know to be right. That 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 it just allows this breakthrough. I think. Let's do. Let's do the middle way. Yeah, let's use this. Let's do uh, how how you be perceived. And how others will perceive you. Uh, how you will perceive others. Sorry. Mm. Okay. Well, hey. Mm. Master of emotions. New hope. <clears throat> So Ace of Pentacles again. That's really interesting. Look, you see that? That's the Five of Pentacles with the Three of Heart, Three of uh, Wands. Uh, sorry, Three of Swords and Five of Pentacles with Three of Swords again.
I must feel like this is a dark like a soul for somebody. <clears throat> Two really interesting cards this week. So bottom of the deck of um how you will be perceived and how others will be perceiving you. That's oh, fucking hell, I'll get that right one day when I how you will be perceived and how you will be perceiving others. And I want to know about that Eight of Cups in reverse before I say anything else. Please. Is that the sun again? The star. The star. Need one more, please. <laughs> I think you might be. There may be some frustration in relationships. Uh, like what's going on internally, like it's like you know is is quite um, smooth. It's quite smooth, right? And like you know, it has a purpose. It's going in the. It's flowing really beautifully in the head and heart, right? Um, but actually, like so. Like in um in your higher self there is a there is a um a knowing that pulls you through what may be a difficult week. If this is talking about a relationship, it may be a difficult week. Uh, but if it's talking about in, individually, you know, it's actually like I, if if you're single, it's probably actually a lot easier to transcend. But if you're in a couple, it may be a rockier um this this energy. Um to 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 balance and transmute king of cups there the king of cups has come out twice which is nice and the four again and of wands ah it could be coming back online as well so reunion with self got to go through that pain i feel like there's a there's got the this this pain has to go through to have that union of self which can then trans transmute into a a greater depth in union so that could be ex-partners like as well you know that could be like you know things that were unsaid being said and um there's an honesty here because there's a surrender to an honesty that perhaps hasn't been there before with self to self or in in relationship in some way um but i think and, and i think in relationship i think it's you know there's a lack of honesty to self about what's going on with self why you're holding on so tight or why you're letting go so easy or whatever however that sits for you in in the context that is in for you um let's do this king of swords uh see king of cups because he's he's floating about Giving it some, it's just emotions taking me over. It is exactly that as well. <laughs> it is exactly that. You've got the five of cups. <laughs> That's exactly what's going on. There's just a little bit of what's at the bottom. The three of souls, the heartache. Yeah, there's heartache. There's like, there's there's a dark night in the soul. There's transcending. There's, there's, there's really going into the dark places. Like, it's dark night of the soul, yeah. For... That's not for people who are, who are single, I don't think. I think, sorry, excuse me. That transition is more um, grieving of a loss. I feel uh, in the in, in the past, like a I don't know, like a oh, how can I describe that? So you're over just overcoming something. It's just collectively we are overcoming something. 
Um, and for a lot of the collective, it, it centers around relationship um, and it centers around honesty and authenticity in relationship. Staying in sovereignty in relationship and how we can, you know, like that, that codependent balance is always shifting. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not as, um, easy to transcend emotions like this when you're when you're in in a partnership or some kind of you know situationship but there's there is there is an energy here of somebody meeting a place of honesty within themselves that perhaps they haven't before um And it definitely leads to heartache, but facing, I feel, I feel very strongly that it's about facing heartache and abandonment and um, just something that you've not wanted to admit to. And that could be in self as well. It could be with a parent mind, you know, that it, it but this is a new, this is a new beginning from this place. There is a new beginning. Either in yourself as an individual over something or within a relationship, there is a new beginning here. And that doesn't, and that, which it basically implies different. It's going to be different. Let's look at the full though. But I feel like, I feel like in a good way though, more emotionally in touch, less arrogant. You know, there's just, there's, there's a humility to it. There's a humility to this, this, this learning of this week um, and in the collective energy. King of Wands, yeah, that makes yeah, that makes total sense as well. <laughs> King of Wands is also Cleopatra, which is nice to know. Yeah. Yeah, this is big. This feels big. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. It's really nice as well. It's got three of Cups there. Um That's nice. Nice energy. Okay. Let's do some advice. I remember as well that you know there is a there is an overarching energy of manifestation here. So how this is playing out in your own life, like is has been manifested for you in a way that you needed to learn whatever it was that you wanted to know. So you would have said, Why the fuck is this happening at some point? Or what blah 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 and the universe go, oh, let me explain it to you in a really weird convoluted way with just a few signs and one or two fucking like hints, you know? It's like and then one day you're just going, Oh yeah, fuck. That's what was happening. This is what I was meant to be learning, you know. I think a lot have been put on and on another person, weight on another person to do something, to be accountable for something in some way. And then there's this realisation that, like, in doing that, you've not been accountable for yourself, if you like, and what was going on with you and your emotions. So it could be easy to blame... It can be easy to blame one partner in a relationship when their mistakes and flaws or codependency is more obvious than the other. But I think eventually what happens in all relationships, including the relationship with ourselves, we realise when really we've been kind of blindsiding ourselves from the truth, from a heartache, from an abandonment, from a disappointment that we haven't actually healed in us and actually that we was projecting in some way. And we learn in this situation, what we learn collectively is to own our own shit and to hold our own shit and not anybody else's and to understand why we draw to us that, why those things bother us. And, and you know, it's an interesting ride this week. Let's get some advice. It's nice to see again, King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, it's nice, it's nice, yeah. 
Yeah. I think it's really good. That's really, I'm really glad that that can't come out, can't come out the eight of ones because it's just very much about communication. And it's very much about letting go and being honest, honest communication as well. You know, and there's this one into, you know, there's a, there's a, um, really wanting to do the right thing here as well. Lots of mental clarity and lots of excitement of newness in the future, which I think is beautiful as well. What's at the bottom of the deck? The Eight of Cups. I'm glad that's up the right way there as well. Because there, because I think there's going to be there would be resistance to letting go, <laughs> uh, and then they'll and then it'll then it will come then it will come. But communication is key, you know. And to keep that childlike wonder as well, to keep that excitement about excuse me <sighs> about newness, you know, and about like. There's a, there's a, I was just thinking misery loves company, but there's a, there's something here about wallowing, basically, <laughs> wallowing in the pain of something, do you know what I mean? It's almost torturing yourself, there's an almost torturing yourself. I feel like, again, I feel like that is something that has to happen, you know? Um, and I I have this really weird feeling that there is this new cycle starting on the 6th of June. There's something going on. I know there's something going on astrolog astrologically wise and it's 6-6. Six, six. So it's another it's another gateway opening as always every every month. But um, there's something going on there. So and I feel like this is the build up to it. This is the build up to a surrendering and that and that that total surrendering may well maybe but maybe quite big but we'll see we will see but that's what i've got for you lovely people um uh, enjoy your week uh, i am you you are love we are one amen adonai i'll see you again next week